a lot. Uh, well, Key, what are you what are you thinking? Pictures, news, and what Sal just reported along with Adam. What are you thinking? You know, I, I look at this. This is a different era and time frame from when I was growing up. Um, having have a grandmother, a mother, and an aunt use some sort of form of this type of discipline to me as a child, being a kid at whatever age it was, seven years old, six years old, I didn't have any knowledge to know that it was wrong to uh, abuse a kid uh, with the switch to the point at times where my parents would even ask me to go out and pick a branch off the tree of mm -hmm. your choice, big, small, whatever the case may be, um, to use it. But if that didn't happen to me along the way, I wouldn't be here with you today. It taught me a lot of learning lessons. Even further to say, I never ever got put in a position where I was hit 15 plus times and I bled. Never. But I also understand that they did it so that I can become a better kid along the way. And it obviously worked. In this situation, as I said before, you could discipline your kid a different way, okay? Adrian Peterson said that he was disciplined in this way. Mm -hmm. Well, so was I. And I've never, I have four kids. I have an 18 down to two. And I have a little four-year-old girl and a two-year-old son. And I never, ever have put my hands on them. When I want to get their attention, you know what I do? I raise my voice. Mm. And I give them that stern look. And, they, and it gets their attention. When they go to touch the stove, I can raise my voice. When they go to push each other down, I can raise my voice. I don't need to put my hands on them. So I think that Adrian Peterson and everybody else out there in the world better learn from this lesson. He committed abuse against this child. If you talk to most African-American men, and I know that much of America is hearing about it for the first time, I was whipped. A switch by my mom, a belt by my dad. What was done to me and what was done to that four-year-old are different things. That is abuse of a child. The shame of it all is that Adrian Peterson doesn't know that he did anything wrong to this child. Now, he's going to know because he's going to be prosecuted. So he's going to understand it eventually. I, I, I think the important thing here besides the case being dealt with, is going forward, and I can't explain why. I learned something along the way so that Taylor and Morgan get treated completely differently. I would never think about hitting them. I stopped that cycle of violence with me. And there's something here that's bigger than even this issue the NFL entirely. We started the week players beating up women. We ended the week with players beating up children. We are in a very serious state here in the National Football League. And, and, and truly we are. And, and when you think about, um, I'm, I'm definitely with Keyshawn, I, my mother gave me some hard lessons, hard lessons. There were many times at night I went to bed with bruises on me. You understand? But my mother also let me understood that you spare the rod, you spoil the child. So, so we have to be very careful <clears throat> with what is abuse. Abuse, anytime you make a child bleed, that's abuse. Anytime you physically harm a child to, 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 to where people can see them going to school, that's abuse. But when you are raised the way I was raised. I'm telling you, if my mother wasn't as hard as she was, the streets would have got me the way the streets got a lot of other, a, a lot of other my friends who didn't get the proper discipline. So I think what we have to understand here and, and really get to the point about is Adrian has to understand there's a certain level that's called discipline and then there's another level that's called abuse. Adrian Peterson called 
the mother of that child to say, I know you are going to be mad because what I have done here is not going to sit well with you. Your, your, your grandmother never had to do that. They no, felt comfortable absolutely. with what they did to you. Absolutely not. He knew what, what he had done was going to make her uncomfortable. I think that he knew underneath it was abuse. This is the thing. And um, this, this goes across all racial lines, ethnicities, religious backgrounds. People believe in discipline in their children. People with any type of Christian background, um, they really believe in discipline in their children. My mom did the best job she could do, raising seven kids by herself. But there are thousands of things that I have learned since then that my mom was wrong. Yes. Thank you. It's the 21st century. My mom was wrong. She did the best she could, but she was wrong about some of that stuff she taught me. And I promised my kids I won't teach that mess to them. You can't be the kid to make them do what they want That's to do. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thousands of things we have learned since then. And now we're to the point, the only thing I'm proud about is the team that I played for. They did the right thing. Yes. Take them off the field. I don't care what that. We in a climate right now. I don't care what it is. Take them off the dang on field. Because you know what? As a man, that's the only thing we really respect. Hmm. We don't respect no women. We don't respect no kids. The only thing Roger and them do, take them off the field. Because they respect that. Well, you know, everything you guys said is right. I, I think a parent, I just want to say one thing, has a right and an obligation to discipline their child if mm -hmm. it's done in the right way. Mm -hmm. Now, my dad, now, this has nothing to do with black, white, pink, purple. This is there you go, my bro. dad whipped my butt. Mm -hmm. Did I deserve it? Yes. Did it make me? Keyshawn said it. He wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today if that didn't happen in my life. That was a great thing. I didn't like it. I cried. But every time I got it, and I was the oldest of four, and I was the only one in the family that got it. And he was setting an example. I became a better person for it. That's all I can say. You ever but beat you, you, ever you, beat you like that? Never wear but the butt. Never anywhere on the butt but the butt. And you, you, the biggest thing is, for me in this situation, if, and you said it, Coach, you can't tell somebody what to do with their children. Okay? It's okay to spank your child. I don't, I don't think... You should, okay, you spank him, that's fine. But if you make it, if, if you're an adult. You can't see that he's bleeding? Like when you're doing it, it takes you 15 plus times to figure that out? This is Adrian, torture. This is recovery. torture. He shattered his knee in six months and came back and played. Do you think Adrian Peters ain't more dis dangerous with a switch than anybody else? Hmm. He shattered his knee in December and played in September. Moving forward league-wise only, as the Vikings, as you eloquently pointed out, Chris, did the right, did the only thing they could do, um, or should do. So more.